Oh, what's this? Oh, Lord Almighty. God, give me strength. I can't do this alone. That'll do. Billy, I finally did it. After looking at every nook and cranny, I found your ice. Cream. Oh, right. What the hell are you thinking? You said you wanted a warning next time I teleported you. I said a warning shot! God damn it, Filthy. Do you even have a permit for that thing? Of course. I always keep my permit loaded. Damn it, that bong cost me 200 Dogecoin. Worst thing is, you made me miss Lord Killian's soap opera. Now I'll never find out if Hoodie and Reason get together. Anyways, come check out this terrible article I found. Hit it! I live in a house full of boys, four to be exact, but they're still relatively young, so there are no nudie mags stashed between mattresses, no stealthily accessed porn sites that someone forgot to erase out of the internet history, nothing like that. A responsible parent would recognize these challenges, prepare for the eventuality that they will hit puberty, and they will get curious about their sexual desires. I'm curious what ideas our dear author has come up with, I'm sure they're wonderful. Then why would you mention it in the first place? If they're too young to watch porn, I don't think you have much to worry about. As much as I'd love to think my kids won't be curious, I'm well aware that won't be the case. Those things are looming, and will probably start happening much sooner than I'd like. I mean, if I had my druthers, they wouldn't even think about sex until they were 25. What were you expecting? The chemicals released by the brain during puberty would cause your boys to become sexually curious. This is basic science, you troglodyte. It's funny how the left makes the right out to be some sex-negative prude people, but they ignore this chick who wants her kids not to think about something until they're 25. When they hit puberty, it doesn't matter what you think. They'll think about it anyways. But before all that happens, before they're exposed to boobs that are as round and firm as cantaloupes and pictures of taut airbrush dimple as butts, I'm exposing them to a different kind of female body. Mine. You do realize that what you're doing is child abuse. I don't care what your retort is, abusing your children is objectively wrong, you Whoa, this is a Christian video. With what this one is advocating for, now is not the time for politeness. That's not untrue. No decent parent accepts strangers flashing themselves with their children. You not only do it to your own children, but dress it up in terms of social justice. You're exposing yourself to your own children and expect to be congratulated for it. Before they even hit puberty. When you wrote this article, did nobody on HuffPo call you out for exposing yourself to your own children? Why do they need to see your genitals? How does that make them better people? Between you and me, I'm dismayed, big time, by my post-baby body. But for the sake of my boys and my future daughters-in-law, I lie through my teeth. Alright, that's your problem, big whoop. You're just like every other bitch who's insecure with her body except you're taking it out on your kids. When they ask about my stretch marks, I tell them proudly how growing a baby is hard work. And they're like badges I've earned. Gaming references always hit home with dudes, no matter what you're explaining. As much as I like to cringe and shrink away when they touch my squishy belly, I let them squeeze my flab between their curious fingers. Do I hate it? Yes. I want to wail, leave my dad alone, and run to the nearest oversized t-shirt. Or like the nearest liposuction clinic. I'm out. F*** this bitch. She took off from Crazy Town, flew over the cuckoo's nest, went into orbit, and crashed back into Crazy Town. I'm done. Not so fast. God damn it, filthy. Finish what I started. <sighs> okay, women exposing themselves to children violates the nap, as it goes for men as well, as the child cannot consent to such a proposal or exposure. Same goes towards sex. A child cannot consent to sex as well. I saw the author's blog and she actually isn't a divorced single mother. What does the dad think about all this? Why isn't he mentioned at all? Does he condone you flashing your kids? The husband needs to put a stop to your lunacy. This is what happens when a horrid bitch marries a soy boy cunk. But I don't, because for right now, for these few formative years, my flab is their one and only perception of the female body, and I want them to know that it's beautiful, even in its imperfection. This isn't proving that your flab is beautiful, just that it's fun to grab. I tell them how strong my body is. They see me work out. They see me make healthy food choices, but still indulge my love of baked goods. And though, like most women, I might inwardly beat myself up over my jeans getting too tight or grow in frustrations and numbers on the scale, I'm never anything but proud of my body in front of my boys, even when I feel the complete opposite inside. Instilling a positive body image is not an issue reserved for people with daughters and for boys. It involves not only making them confident about their own bodies, but also letting them know that real is beautiful when it comes to the opposite sex. 
This is what you should be doing, working out, being a positive role model for your kids. None of these are any reason to flash your kids. I don't know, since I never tried it because I'm a sensible person, but I imagine it's kind of a turn-off, just a little bit. I don't want to do them, or any women they might happen to see naked in the future, the disservice of telling them that their saggy boobs are bad, or that a little bit of flab is something to be ashamed of. I want them to know that this is the norm, not the nip tuck digitally enhanced images they're going to be bombarded with. Sure, they'll gawk at those bouncy boobies and flat stomachs and perky butts, but I have hope that, deep down inside, they'll know that this isn't the standard at which they should hold women's bodies, like, ever. It's normal for women to be skinny too, you know that, right? Also, why shouldn't the boys have high standards for what they want in the female body when they grow up? Are you seriously telling them that they should lower their standards and settle for women who refuse to better themselves? Your kids are going to look back at this point in their lives with abject disgust. They'll make memes about their naked, cellulite-ridden mom. The reason that men find the ideal female bodies attractive is because they want to have sex with them. I'm not apologizing for being blunt, but that's the truth. The only reason that they would consider your body to be an ideal is if they want to have sex with you, which is, uh, kind of a problem. Or worse yet, they develop a cellulite fetish. What happens when other girls' refusal to walk around naked and let their flab be grabbed becomes a turnoff? You're really not setting your kids up for how to handle women. Isn't that exactly what the dad should be doing? Teaching their sons how to talk and handle women from a male perspective? All this woman is doing is setting them up for failure. There will come a time when I cover up and they're around. I'm sure at some point I'll hear, ugh, mom, put some clothes on. Or that they'll learn to knock before barging into the bathroom, which sounds heavily, I'm not gonna lie. But until then, I'll let them run their fingers along my stretch marks and grin and bear it when they squeal with the leaded laughter at the way my butt jiggles when I walk across the room and grab a towel. Because while they're young, I want to plant the seed so that when they're older, their wives will say, I wish my thighs were smaller. My sons can say, they're perfect just the way they are and mean it. One does not lead to the other. That's a complete non sequitur. Just think about this for a minute. I think all female bodies are beautiful because my mom walked around naked when I was eight years old. It doesn't follow. I need an adult. Why would you let your kids run their fingers across your ass and let them jiggle it? I sense a reverse Oedipus complex. Maybe Freud was right, but he got it backwards. And maybe it only applies to a select few crazy bitches. What's really going on is that someone who got into parenting for all the wrong reasons. These kids are being traumatized so she can virtue signal on the Huffington Post. She should be embarrassed that her kids see her naked. It's sick, and I have no problem telling her that. You, ma'am, are a pervert, and you're ruining your children's lives for political points, and it has to stop. This is one of the few times where I am grossed out. I think we've said everything that's needed to be said about this, right? That's all the article has. Worst part is, I know this isn't the bottom of the barrel. I need something to cool my nerves right now. I can summon pizza. Oh yeah, dude, I'm down. I want some pizza. Pepperoni pizza. Pineapple pizza. What did you? What? Wait. Shall we? Execute Order 66.